as we continue our exploration of the powers of quotients and how to simplify the exponents into a simpler form, we look at our first example, 7 to the 6th power over 7 to the 3rd power, all raised to the second power. Now, there's two approaches that we can have with this equation. One, we could simplify what is on the inside of the parentheses first and then raise it to a second power or do what we did in previous videos of powers of quotients and showing how we distribute the exponent to the exponents on the inside by multiplication. So first step, let's go ahead and simplify this. Well, this is 7 to the 6th power over 7 to the 3rd power. Well, 7 to the 6th, and when we divide our exponents, we are going to subtract, not the base. We're going to keep the base and subtract my exponents. This gives me 7 to the 3rd power. Now, we have simplified what's on the inside. We then raise it to the 2nd power. And in this case, we have 3 times 2, when we go ahead and use the distributive property, 3 times 2 is 6, so we have 7 raised to the 6th power. And that is our final answer. We could do it in a different way and shown it by distributive property. We can have 7 raised to the 6th power over 7 raised to the 3rd power, and we are going to raise that entire fraction by 2. So let's go ahead and distribute the numerator and the denominator, that 2. And we have 7 to the 6th times 2 will be 7 to the 12th power over 7 in the 3rd power. 3 times 2 is 6. And there we go. So once again, to simplify even more, because the one of the powers of quotient rules is that we cannot have the same base number in the numerator and the denominator. That's telling us if we do, we could simplify it even more. So in this case, we have 7 to the 12th power divided by 7 to the 6th power. So we're going to keep our base, and then we are going to subtract our exponents because it's division. Therefore, we have an answer of 7 to the 6th power, which is the same as the problem. You're going to pick which one is best. You're going to simplify the inside first. Sometimes you're not going to be able to do it so easily as this example. And so knowing you're distributing the outside exponent with the exponents on the inside is super important to know as well. So let's get a lot more practice to help us through our next equation. Let's look. We have 8b to the 6th power over 7b squared all raised to the third power. This time, I'm going to use the distributive property. Now, when I distribute this exponent, I'm going to distribute it to all of the exponents in the, in the fraction. Well, one one thing that the students forget about is that this coefficient is really technically 8 to the first power and 7 to the first power. So I'm going to have to distribute the 3 to both of them as well. With that being said, let's go ahead. 8 raised to the first power times 3 is 8 to the third power. 1 times 3 is 8. And b to the 6th power times 3 is b to the 18th power. Over 1 times 3 is 7, so it's going to be 7 to the 3rd power. And then 2 times 3 is 5, so we're going to have b to the 5th power. Oh, ooh, did I do something wrong there? Yes, I did. It's 2 times 3 instead of 2 plus 3. So it's really going to be... Let me get my eraser. It's going to be b to the sixth power. Now, in simplifying, I need to make sure I remember um, what my exponents. I can keep it as 8 to the third power, b, and then I'm going to subtract these two from each other. 18 minus 6 is going to be b to the 12th power over 7 to the third power. 
Now I can simplify, but I tell my students if it's the fourth power and under, you can go ahead and work that out. So we will have eight times eight times eight b to the 12th power over seven times seven times seven. So we see that eight times eight is 64 and 64 times eight is 64 times eight. That's gonna be 32 and it's gonna be 512 b to the 12th power. And I show you, I didn't use a calculator because not all the times we have a calculator. So I'm gonna show you how to do it without a calculator. So seven times seven is 49. And 49 times seven again, that'll be 63, carry my six. 28 plus six is 343. There you go. So my final answer is 512 b to the 12th power over 343. Let's go ahead and move on to our next example, our third example. That will be a little, a little, this looks a little bit more friendly. And so we are going to go ahead and let's try simplifying on the inside first. So if I subtract these two, it's going to be a five. So eight minus three is five. But since the eight is in the denominator, my answer is going to be in the denominator. So all of the threes get canceled out. So I'm going to have one left over and underneath I'll have G to the fifth power, all raised to the third power. So when I go ahead and distribute, this is going to be one to the first power. And this will be, I'll distribute the three by multiplication. So three times five. So here we go. One to the third power is one. And then five times three is 15. So I have G to the 15th power. Let's make that five just a little flow, just a little bit better. So we'll have G to the 15th power. Awesome. That seemed pretty easy. One thing you might have got caught up right here is that if I put this g to the third over g to the eighth in expanded form, it would be g times g times g over g times g eight times. Let me get five, six, seven, eight. It's going to be in the numerator. So if I cancel the G with a G, that gives me one. G over G is one. Here we go. That leaves I have one left over on the top, and I will have G to the fifth on the bottom or in my denominator. So that's how I got one over G to the fifth. The trick that I tell my students is tell me which one has the biggest, the largest exponent. And in this case is the eight because I'm going to have eight G's going across. And then if I subtract three, take three away on the top and the bottom, then my answer G to the fifth is going to stay in the denominator. Little trick there. All right. Last example. Here we go. Let's see if it's a, easy. Ah, pretty easy. I think you can do this one. Here we go. Let's try it out again. This shows me that I have R to the first power. So let's do distributive property this time. I'm going to distribute the numerator and the denominator, which gives me R to the third power over, because that's one times three is three. And then R six times three is 18. R to the 18th power. I still can simplify because I have the same variable in the numerator and the denominator. Therefore, which is my largest number? 18 and 18 minus 3 is 15. And my final answer is 15. Mm -hmm.